The Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square present a Music and the Spoken Word special. Traditions and Resolutions. Conducting today's program is Mac Wilburg with organist Richard Elliott and the spoken word by Lloyd Newell. New Year's Day might very well be just another day, no different from the 364 that follow. If it wasn't for our traditions, we gather with family and friends, we eat special foods together, we celebrate and reflect. We thank God for the blessings of the past year and the opportunities in the year ahead. No, there's nothing inherently special about January 1st. But in these and many other ways, we make New Year's Day meaningful with our traditions of gathering, of love, of remembering, of gratitude to God, of looking back and looking forward. Let's hear how some people around the world celebrate the new year. In Denmark, one of our New Year's traditions is to eat a 12-tiered cake to commemorate the 12 months that have gone by and we usually eat it during the Queen's speech where she also talks about the past year and all the good things that have come with it and sometimes also the bad things, but it's a really nice way to end the year. 12 seconds before the clock strikes midnight, we have to eat uh, 12 grapes. Each grape will represent each of the months of the 12 months of the year. 
And by eating uh, each wave, we have to make a wish that will represent um, the goals we have for next year. I love spending time with family on New Year's because family's the best. We get to play board games and have so much fun. We also set out a plate for the people who've passed away because it's a Filipino tradition and so they can celebrate with us. For New Year's, um, me and my brothers, we would, when it hit 12 o'clock, we would go outside and like yell Happy New Year and bang pots and pans and just run around all over the place. Just,
Saint Benedict, a patron saint of Europe, is said to have expressed this simple but encouraging thought. Every day we begin again. And if that's true of a new day, it's certainly true of a new year. We all yearn for the chance to start over and begin anew. It's a sentiment that rings true in the heart as we ring in the new year. This is probably why we make New Year's resolutions, things we want to accomplish, learn, or improve about ourselves. After all, God created us to improve and progress. But making a resolution is one thing. Keeping it can be much harder. How can we keep from becoming discouraged when things don't go as we planned or hoped? Well, here are some ideas. So one thing that helps me stay focused on goal setting is accountability. Anytime I set a goal, whether personal or family, I love to discuss it with those around me. I try to not be too crazy about setting too many goals at a time because it can be overwhelming. But I try to set maybe a few goals for the year that are bigger. I uh, dissect it a little bit and figure out what I can do each month in order to reach that goal. When I make a mistake or fail to achieve a goal in the way I had hoped, I try not to look back, but to instead look forward. I then make it a matter of prayer and ask for that guidance. And I've received that. And that means everything to me because I know that going forward, I'm doing things that not only I think are important, but my Heavenly Father thinks are important for me to do. Whatever new beginnings you are looking forward to, we hope your new year is filled with happiness, peace, and God's richest blessings.
Thank you for joining the Tabernacle Choir and Orchestra at Temple Square for this New Year's Day special, originating from historic Temple Square in Salt Lake City. Please join us again for music and the spoken word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you, this day and always. Oh